What is the best way for a parent to save money for their child's college education? Well, while the 529 has in some ways been the gold standard when it comes to putting away money for college, it's not the only path that offers tax benefits. Another option is an IUL, or an Index Universal Life Insurance Contract. Would you rather be invested in the red line or the green line? The red line is the market strategy, or your 401k, IRA, or 529 plan. And the green line is the index strategy, or an IUL. Now, before I explain index to universal life insurance, a 529 savings plan is similar to an IRA in that it allows earnings to grow tax deferred until withdrawn. Withdrawals are tax-free as long as the funds are used for educational purposes only. Money saved within the 529 plan is invested into a portfolio of mutual funds. When the money is withdrawn to pay for educational expenses, no capital gains tax is assessed. Now, if your child decides not to go to college, or enrolls at a university located in another country, withdrawals will be taxed. With a 529, a family's assets factor into financial aid calculations. The greater the family's assets, the higher the contribution expected, and the lower the financial aid award. Since 529 plans are typically invested in mutual funds, the balance is subject to stock market volatility and the potential for investment losses. 529 plans have fees and expenses that can vary widely from plan to plan. When compared over a shorter term, the 529 has the potential to outperform given the upfront charges on the IUL, but volatility and market downturns could also reduce the potential shorter-term advantage. It should also be noted that any money remaining in the 529 after all college expenses have been paid will be subject to tax. Now, with an IUL, you choose an index like the S&P 500. Your money is not invested in the index, so it's not in the stock market. But you get the return based on the movement of the index. Your child's money grows however the index performs, up to a limit or a cap, for example, 12%. Now, if the market grows 15%, your money will only grow up to that 12% cap. But the trade-off is complete downside protection from market losses. So just like you would have a cap, you would also have a floor of zero. So the worst thing that can happen is you get zero interest in market downturns. In other words, your child would lose nothing ever. Indexing gives you the ability to grow your money at a decent rate, historically 7 to 8% annually and be protected from market downturns. So let's take a look at this chart again. You can see how volatile the market was between 1998 and 2013. You can see that when the market goes down, you get zero growth because of the floor. You lose nothing. You can also see that if you had your child's savings in an index product, they would have lost nothing in the last recessions and would have been ahead versus a 529 plan. Because this is a life insurance policy, your child would have access to the death benefit tax-free while alive in the event, God forbid, something should happen to them like a chronic, critical, or terminal illness for as long as the policy is in force. And, you know, keep in mind Index Universal Life Insurance is permanent life insurance, so your child can keep this for the rest of his or her life to save for their own retirement someday, instead of or in addition to a 401k or IRA. With an IUL, their retirement income would be tax-free. One of the powerful concepts 
behind an IUL is the ability to access your cash by taking participating loans from your cash value to finance your child's college education, a car, an engagement ring, whatever they want. Because they are actually borrowing from the insurance company, they are using the cash value as collateral. So even though your child takes out a loan, that money is still in their account and keeps earning interest. Let's say your child has $100,000 in cash value in their policy, and they decide to take out a $20,000 policy loan to pay for their tuition. Let's say the insurance company charges them 5% on the loan, and the market went up 10%. That loan didn't cost your child anything. He or she actually made 5% on the money they loan themselves. If you are interested in buying an IUL, it's important you understand how participating loans work. So make sure to watch my video up there and I will put a link to that below. So an IUL contract can be used for educational purposes or for anything. You get market-like returns with no risk to stock market downturns. Your child money grows tax deferred and withdrawals are tax free as long as they take participating loans. There are no annual contribution limits, no age restrictions. Your child will get a death benefit and living benefits. And you know, life insurance is based on risk, so the chances of a young child dying is very low. Thus, the cost of insurance is extremely low for children and the fees are limited if it is structured properly. And to understand the importance of a properly structured IUL, you must watch my video all about that. And I will also put a link to that below. And there are no financial aid calculations like a 529 plan has. If you would like me to structure an IUL for your child, please complete the application below. I will then construct an illustration for you so you can decide whether or not this is something you want to move forward with. And as usual, if this was of value to you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.